If you're subscribing to Motion Array, you have to check out this new feature, Motion Array Hub. It's a collection of new, easy to use, but professional plugins for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. And the great thing about this uh, Motion Array Hub is that they show exactly what each plugin does. And there's also a quick video tutorial on how to use each plugin. There are over 50 plugins available and they keep on adding more. So instead of going through uh, all of them, today we're gonna have a look at my favorite top 10, specifically aimed at improving your footage. And remember that if you're using Premiere Pro or After Effects, I strongly recommend you installing Motion Array Adobe extension as you will have direct access to Motion Array within your software. Let's do this. Auto volumetrics is like adding haze or smoke in your shots, making the scene more moody and cinematic. Position the light where the natural light source is coming from and adjust the strength and length of the light rays to get the results that you are looking for. This effect also works well if you have already used haze or smoke when filming, but maybe you just want to add just a little bit more. You can also animate it to get some really cool effects as well. This works great to really show how hot it really is in your scene. Adjust the scale, distortion, wind direction, wind speed and more. One tip here, if you only want to affect one specific part of your scene, I'd recommend using a adjustment layer and add the effect here. Like this, it's easier to decide what part of the scene has the heat distortion. Now, what separates the Motion Array Light Flare effects to the ones that are built in into the software? You have so many flare types to choose from, even anamorphic flares. You can also adjust each flare type getting a unique flare, perfectly adjusted to your scene. Now, if you have ever tried to do split screen manually, you know it's a nightmare to do. With Motion Array split screen masking, as you have tons of built-in presets, you can get professional results in seconds. You can easily move the clips around and change the order. The width, the color of the border, and the results are instant. I love this effect. A great trendy effect that is perfect for music videos and commercials. You can use the cartoon effect on the whole image, but if you really want to have some really cool interesting results, rotoscope the subject and then put the cartoon effect on top of that. The picture in picture effect is perfect for gaming channels and maybe explainer videos like this one. You can choose from eight positions, choose the scale and adjust the margin to your liking. You can also add keyframes and change the position of your picture in picture in case there are some important text or information on the screen that you don't want the uh, little picture to be on top of. And this effect is a huge time saver. Not only can you use this effect to create a broken VCR or TV set, but using this effect in a futuristic setting helps you achieve that cyberpunk look seen in many movies like Blade Runner and the new series, which I absolutely love, Fallout. You have five presets to choose from and you can adjust and personalize all of them. The de-res effect lowers the resolution of your footage and makes it more blocky and pixelated, which works really great in music videos or commercials. All presets are adjustable so that you can create a unique look. Film damage does exactly what it says and it adds grain, stains, dust, scratches and more to your footage. Play around with it to get the damage that you are looking for. This effect instantly transforms your image and makes it look like it's shot on film. Adjust settings like grain, vignettes and letterbox to achieve the film look you want. 
There are other great plugins available in the Motion Array Hub and many of them are specifically aimed at motion graphics like Cosmos, Electro and Audio Waveform. And you can check out all of them in the Motion Array Hub. And remember that if you're not already signed up to Motion Array or if you're signed up on a monthly basis but want to save some cash on an annual subscription, you can use the link below to get $50 off. Peace. See you in the next one.